Hey, Greg Habercorn here from Arvada, Colorado. Uh, today I want to do a quick video on the Drodo, Drodo catch and release uh, latch system. Um, brand new boat, uh, Targa 19 Bass Pro Tracker. Um, reason I'm doing the video is, is that there's several videos out there um, on uh, this particular system, um, but they all would take the, the, the boat down to the lake put the boat in the water and then install this in the parking lot or the trailer was had rollers on it. This is, you can see, this is a bunk trailer and um, I didn't want to spend time at the lake um, putting this on. I'd rather be fishing. So I wanted, to, I thought that I could do it at home uh, with the boat still on the trailer. So that's the reason for the video. Um, I got to first give some props to Drodo. When I was researching it, I called them, um, or actually I, I emailed them and said that I had heard that there were some issues with the Drodo latch system and this particular eyelet that is used on my boat, um, on most uh, aluminum boats, a lot of them that are welded on, um, in the fact that it was, uh, there wasn't enough room to put on the latch to your, um, to your crank to secure the boat. And they told me that they just came out with a modified version with a bigger clamp on it. And um, it was supposed to come out in seven days, but they sent it to me. And so I put it on, everything works. So I have everything already set up and on. If you own a boat, you're pretty mechanical. It's not rocket science, a couple bolts to remove and this and that. So I didn't feel the need to waste time showing you how it was done. But anyhow, um, with that said, um, some tools you'll need um, right off the bat is a three-quarter inch socket. Make sure that it's the smaller socket, not the bigger socket. Um, I'll show you what this is for. This is a magnet and a half inch socket and a uh, three-quarter inch box-in wrench. The reason I have the paint up here, this is Rust-Oleum, um, basically a paint and primer. Um, I'm kind of anal, but I wanted things to tie into my boat. So I painted um, the rollers and uh, put three coats on, very durable. It stuck really well. So anyhow, um, everything is installed. The first thing you have to do though, is on your system here for your crank, um, you have to unloose all these bolts, okay? Which I did. Now you can see here, I marked where this previously was, there's a mark right here. And you can see some of the chips in the paint, but that's how far it had to come, about three inches. I had to pull it this way. Uh, once I did that, the boat, you know, really didn't move at all once I unlatched it and I took this off. Um, let me back up just a little bit. Of course, right here is where the roller was. I took the roller out, moved everything back. I installed the Drodo system, okay? And then once I had that installed, I had my son come out. He lifted up on the bow for me a little bit and I was able to push this back. And this is really important when we're talking about this particular latch system. Cause you can see right here, it's right in the middle of this eyelet. Okay, I'm gonna open that up for you. But it's right in the middle of that eyelet. You can't have it too far back or you will not be able to get your secure latch on for your crank, okay? so. With that said, now another thing that's pretty easy, I installed this arm, and when you wanna just close this manually, lift up on it, press those together, let it back down, and then release it, okay? You can't, you can't lift up on it, press on it, let it down. Oh, and it does stay, okay. So it did stay just fine, but you can see where it comes together, it's right in the middle of that eyelet. So with that said, you know, I'm able to get this on relatively easy and take it off in the same fashion. You gotta, you gotta work it around a little bit, but it does work. Everything cranks up. It's nice and secure. Now, there was another video of a guy that did this in his garage and he mentioned, you know, he had to move his up too, but he mentioned when he got down to the lake that once he got the boat off, he was gonna move this back. I don't think that's a good idea because your boat stayed on where it was. If he takes the, you take the boat off and you move this back, your boat's gonna be hanging off the back another three inches.
okay? Reducing your tongue weight, which there's not much tongue weight up in the bow anyway on here. So, you know, it is what it is and it should stay where it should stay. Um, the bolts, once you tighten those back down, you'll need a torque wrench, which I have here. And um, before I took them off, I torqued it to see what the pounds were and it was at 40 pounds. So that's what I torqued everything back down to was 40 pounds once I put it back on. A um, couple other things. Um, over here, this is um, the release arm which I attached. I put it on this side because on the right side it would have been in the way of my trolling, my electric trolling motor. Now over on this side, I mounted it and it still clears my arm for my crank, right? For my winch, so nice and tight there, but you gotta make sure that you have it going this way and not coming out this way, because if you, if you flip that around and have it coming out the other way, you're gonna have a problem that's gonna run into your, to your crank for your winch, okay? So a real slick, you know, I wouldn't travel with this on. I'll take it off when I travel. But the nice thing is I put a little bungee clip on there. I got a rope, goes up to my cockpit. And when I wanna, I'm up and ready to go, boom, I just hit that. Boat will slide off nice and easy. So real simple. Last thing I wanna show you is this. And you can order this when you order um, your, that when you order the system from Drodo, you can get this lock that they have. And it's pretty slick. This goes inside. And once you have yours bolted on, okay, um, you will have to actually take this, this nut off that's inside of here and then slip this on and then put the nut on, okay? That's why you need to have a shorter socket because once you put that you got to put that nut inside here once you put that on you'll be able to thread it if you have too long of a socket it'll push that nut too far up into the socket and you won't get it to grip so the other thing is is that it comes with this like spacer that you put in as an extra precaution so once you get that in and then you put your lock back on boom they can't get to it from this side they can sit and put a wrench on the other side and it's just going to spin and it won't be able to get that off okay so uh one other thing i wanted to show you um so um i was going to show you what this tool is for it's a magnet and um i'm sure you know that but when i put my drodo in i had a space between the crank bracket arms and the drodo so i had to put uh, a washer in now these washers do not come uh, with the drodo system you have to purchase them yourself um, and put them in but that's what i use the magnet for i was doing it by myself if you have somebody helping you you may not need it but it does work pretty slick so what you do is uh so on the other side is where the bolt came through um i just put that on there like this and I had the bolt out and I slipped the washer in all the way in. I put the bolt in, just got the bolt into the, into the hole. And then I was able to come over to the other side, push the bolt through and do the same thing over here. Just push that washer in there. You can push it in far enough with the magnet so you can do it and get it through. So it works real slick if you're doing this by yourself. And uh, I did it with that and it worked just fine. So. Anyhow, that's it for that. Anyhow, I um, hope it helps. Um, it was good for me to look at some of the videos that were out there. Real simple system. It took me probably a half hour from start to finish to do it. Um, so you can do it in your garage. You don't have to go out to the lake and waste time putting this on. You'd rather be fishing anyway. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna be doing another um, uh, video on my boat, it's uh, today's date is April 19th. I'm gonna be taking it up on May 10th up to McConaughey. Boat's never been on the water. So I'm gonna do a review of the 2023-19 Targa. And uh, I think everything's gonna be really good. And I'll do a review when I come back as to how well everything worked. So have a good day. Thanks for watching.